Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets from an intermarket analysis perspective as always. Today is Tuesday the 14th of January 2016. I'm just doing an end of day video uh, for the European markets. Please do visit tradesignal.com. Signals and market updates from leading providers. Uh, you can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the markets, certainly seem to be... Uh, uh, in a uh, one-way direction at present certainly every uh, every support level basically is being breached almost 100 billion has been wiped off the biggest uh, companies in the UK and that certainly isn't good news at all four new polls suggest Britain will back Brexit here's how the first 100 days may look so apparently Brexit concerns certainly seem to be back uh, it certainly seems that the markets are dominated Brexit everything else is uh, irrelevant at present very strange okay but that certainly is the situation now two weeks ago we had Brexit concerns, the market was absolutely oblivious and we were moving higher. So it certainly is uh, interesting times, folks. OK, it's about how you navigate. Uh, this morning I was expecting I've been stopped out multiple times today. I'm actually minus 130, 140 odd for the week. Uh, I've been stopped out on my trades and alongside, especially uh, I haven't been trading the FTSE much at all. I've been staying away. I was stopped out my S&P trade. I was stopped out my Euro stocks trade. So I've been buying European indices mainly in US because of the uh, uncertainty and the volatility surrounding the FTSE. I've tried to uh, refrain and abstain from it altogether. But nevertheless, uh, the markets are being affected by the FTSE and the Brexit concerns as well. We have had stronger uh, EU data today. We had uh, stronger, uh, if I can just recollect, we've had uh, uh, inflation data out the UK actually come, came in weaker as well. So again, that certainly supported the, uh, the dovish uh, uh, BOE. To a large extent, which was technically bullish. OPEC oil demand certainly on the increase. We've had uh, good earnings from Creston First Group as well. US business optimism, UK inflation, like I said, weaker. EU industrial production and employment came in stronger. Uh, US retail sales certainly came in stronger to a large extent, although uh, Red Book sales came in in line, and uh, I think we had another batch of data that certainly came in weaker. Red Book index and business inventories, if I can recollect correctly. Okay, so. That certainly seems to be a scenario there. Okay. Uh, now, in terms of the market at present, ever since this poll came out, the market certainly went into a swoon and certainly moved lower. But my bias remains bullish, and I'll certainly explain why. Okay. First of all, let's bring up the FTSE 100 and let's try and decipher the FTSE. Let's see exactly what's happening here because everything seems to be Brexit, Brexit, Brexit orientated. Now, in terms of the FTSE 100, your support level you have is at 5880. There's a support zone there, and obviously we've got support zones below the, the 5700 lay region. Now there is a support zone right now at 5920, folks. Okay, not 59. So 5930, if I can recollect. Yes, 5930 is a support zone. So we we are currently into a support zone, uh, given the fact that uh, 5950 was certainly a support zone on the weekly chart as well. Uh, the daily chart at present, you had support at 5950. Obviously we breached that, and we are now coming into this zone here around the 5880, 5890. That will be a good area to potentially go long on the FTSE 100. So bias certainly uh, long on that uh, on that situation on that occasion. Okay, so certainly looking for a potential uh, move higher on the FTSE 100, especially given the fact that commodities certainly remain in support. If I bring up a chart of oil, crude oil here, you can certainly see basing here support uh, being held. No uh, move, no lower low, uh, and again that's bullish. Again, bring up the chart of gold as well. Certainly has pullback, so the concerns certainly are not there. In terms of fear, certainly has been dissipated to a large extent. The Shanghai and the Nikkei, Nikkei into support, gap fill support. The Shanghai index as well into horizontal support. So Asian indices certainly coming in uh, and uh, certainly indicating support. Copper as well, certainly holding support. You have this inverted head and shoulders formation, certainly looking bullish. Stronger U US retail sales, stronger EU data, both supporting a potential move higher. Uh, the Russell itself, again, Russell is another index that I'm looking at at the moment, uh, which again to me is indicating potential support now, given the fact that we have made a higher high, now we're looking for higher highs and higher lows, and we're into that 50% support as well. So again, looking for a potential thrust higher on the uh, the actual Russell itself. You have the 200 MA just below, and again, that will act as potential support as well for the Russell. Now, in terms of the actual uh, European indices, I'll just bring them up for you as well. Before I do, just look at the S&P 500 because that's a good indication. We we, we were, well, I did expect this support to hold at 2070. I was actually long at 2075, just at the 200 MA and gap fill. And at a stop loss of 2065, I was clipped. Okay, so I certainly stopped out there. 
No, the market continues to move lower than you are looking at 2050 as the potential next support zone, which I think is very unlikely from my understanding. For now, you have this bearish uh, of uh, expanding, con uh, contracting, uh, falling wedge, and I am looking for a potential breakout higher. Uh, my bias remains bullish here, looking for a potential test at 2085 zone on the S&P 500, okay, in terms of movements higher given these stronger retail sales. Okay, now, uh, in terms of European indices now, let's bring up the European indices. Let's just bring up the Euro stocks. Where are Euro stocks? Again, Euro stocks is another index that I've been stopped out on. Okay. I don't think I've got this here. Okay, let's just bring up the stock 600 first of all. So again, you are coming into horizontal support and the stock 600. Europe 350, you're into horizontal support. You do have the unfilled gap below as well. That may well potentially close, but for now, certainly looking at support there. Uh, bringing up the German DAX. German DAX, again, support at the 9500 level, so therefore looking for a potential bounce. Looking at your 60-minute chart, again, you have horizontal support here, so therefore looking to potentially hold. 10-minute chart, you have a double bottom. Okay, so certainly expecting that double bottom to hold and obviously start to mount a potential move higher. So again, that's another index to certainly need to watch. German DAX certainly looking for the double bottom to hold and uh, a attack on the unfilled gaps above. So watch out for the European indices. French CAC at the moment, again, it flushed towards new lows. Now, I've actually bought the CAC at 41334 and uh, 4133 is my entry uh, average and I'm looking for a move higher. The daily chart at the moment, you do have horizontal support here. One of the reasons why I actually bought the market, and again, obviously, you've closed this gap as well. So, gap fill support, horizontal support, certainly looking for a move higher on the French CAC on the back of especially a weaker euro back to 1.12. The 60 minute chart, yes, I am aware that we certainly do remain but bearish with regards to the uh, the actual um, the actual uh, index itself. Okay, so the CAC itself, you are in a lower lows, lower highs. But from my perspective, you've gone below pivot S3 support. You've you, your RSI extremely oversold. Certainly is being sold on the back of this Brexit concern. I think is overdone, and I'm looking for a potentially move higher. Okay, that's one of the reasons why. Again, you had some good volume going into the close, so certainly buyers potentially returning. And again, the target remains gap fill above. Okay, so certainly looking for gap fill above. From my perspective, this market, these markets are way way oversold. Uh, and again, Brexit fears certainly are way overdone to a large extent. Okay, in terms of FTSE, you're still in that bearish channel, folks. So we'll certainly observe that. Uh, from my perspective, I'd rather buy European indices and the FTSE at the moment, given the on mass sell off there. Again, you are looking for a potential pop here, folks. So if the FTSE does bounce up to that gap fill, 6060, then 6120 on the upside. But my focus would remain on buying European and US indices instead. Okay, now if I bring up the NASDAQ chart as well, the NASDAQ certainly, from my perspective, is into support. Although it has flushed on the back of these uh, concerns with regards, to NAS uh, with regards to Brexit, I am looking for a potential thrust higher on the Nasdaq from here now, uh, looking for a nice move higher. Previous resistance equal support, Fib 50%, uh, a doji candle as well, tested the downside. 10 minute chart, certainly looking to uh, potentially break out this bearish channel that we're currently stuck in. Okay, so certainly that lower channel certainly as hell so looking for a potential t touch up to 4430 up to 4440 on the nasdaq certainly looking for a, uh, a thrust higher here okay so certainly keep an eye on the nasdaq itself nasdaq will be the first index to move higher and that will certainly look to uh, take the rest of the indice rest of the uh, market with it as well okay so certainly bullish bias on the nasdaq at present okay so i think that's a market wrap uh, also just to give you an insight s p 500 as well I am looking for a reversal here and a certainly a breakout here, which already has occurred on the 10 minute chart and a potential test at 2085 zone. Okay, uh, again, risk on, risk off, wax on, wax off. Wish you the best for the remainder of the current trading day. Be sure to visit cfts.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% uh, bonus offer. Goodbye now.